क्वेश्चन वन से इज गिवन अ पैरालोग्राम ए बी सी डी दिस पैरालोग्राम दैट वी सी हेयर ए बी सी डी कंप्लीट ईच स्टेटमेंट अलॉन्ग विद द डेफिनेशन और प्रॉपर्टी यूज सो देर आर फोर स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन टू अस ईच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स इज इनकम्प्लीट वी एंड एंड वी हैव टू यूज द अप्रोप्रिएट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पैरालोग्राम्स टू कम्प्लीट दैट स्टेटमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट वी हैव ए डी इक्वल टू वॉट सो ए डी इज this side of the parallelogram and this will be equal to the opposite side of the parallelogram which is bc because in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal so the first statement can be completed as ad is equal to bc and the reason is that opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal so that's the reason for this first statement now in the second statement we have angle dcb equal to what so angle dcb is this angle here angle dcb and we know that in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal so angle dcb will be equal to angle dab this angle here because this is opposite to angle dcb so we can complete the second statement as angle dcb is equal to angle dab and the reason is that the opposite angles in a in any parallelogram are equal all right now statement 3 is statement 3 says oc is equal to what so oc is this segment of the diagonal half um of ac oc is this part of Uh, the diagonal ac and we know that in a parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other so oc will be equal to oa and od will be equal to ob but we don't need the od equal to ob fact we only need to use the fact that oc is equal to oa because the diagonals in a parallelogram bisect each other so this statement can be completed as oc is equal to oa and the reason can be stated as the diagonals in a parallelogram bisect each other so that's the property for statement 3 and then finally for statement 4 uh, we have the measure of angle dab plus the measure of angle cda so measure of angle dab plus the measure of angle cda so let's analyze these two angles what are these two angles so angle dab is this angle here dab and angle cda is this angle here and we can see that these two angles are adjacent angles of the parallelogram so they must be supplementary because they are interior angles on the same side of this transversal ad and the parallels ab and dc so their sum must be equal to 180 degrees so the statement can can be completed as 180 degrees and the reason can be stated as adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary their sum is 180 degrees so that's the reason for statement 4 and with this we have completed question number 1 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers